Hey everyone, this is Nathan with Bear Creek Arsenal. In this video, I'm going over our 6.5 Grendel 24 inch straight flute stainless steel barrel setup. We're also covering our other videos we'll be shooting next week, which also includes this upper. I had a viewer ask about shooting one of our 24 inch 6.5 Grendels at the range, showing how it performed at 100 yards with the accuracy test and then distance wise. So we'll be taking this one out next week and then our buddies from Vortex Optics sent us a 6x24 Diamondback Tactical Scope to, to use at the range. So we'll put that on top of this, side it in, and I'll show you the whole process next week. We'll cover this one, this upper real fast. Then I'll give you the other products we'll be using next week at the range and here at the facility. So the 6x5 Grendel has a 24 inch stainless flute, straight fluted barrel, a spiral stainless flash hider, 15 inch inlock can guard. It is a flat top forged receiver with dust cover, Ford assist. Standard charging handle. Full auto bulk carry group, which comes standard on our AR-15s. Grendel Type 2 bolt. It does not work with the Type 1s. The head spacing is different. The MOA guarantee with this setup makes it great for anybody wanting to shoot long range. The SITS-5 has plenty of power to shoot out long distance. 800 yards, you'll still have enough energy to take medium sized game down. I have heard of people shooting over a thousand yards with these. At some point in time, we'll try to do the same. We'll go ahead and bring, slide this one back and bring out our products for next week. First, it's a seven and a half, 300 blackout. We do a tabletop review. Also do some targets at 50 yards, then take it out to the range, have some fun at 50, 100 yards, and also uh, some moving set up at uh, 25 yards and under in the pistol bays. That way we can show you how nice it is to have that short AR pistol set up. Then we also have a torture test for you next week. This is our 16 inch 223 wild with the 15 inch lightweight key mod. We'll take this to the range. We're also gonna put a Vortec optic on top. We're gonna just put a red dot that way we'll shoot 500 plus rounds through it. Make sure it holds zero after, before and after. Also see how the grouping is with the red dot at various distances and see how far we could push it after we get through that type of heat cycle on this barrel and see how accurate it still is. And we'll keep using this upper in other tests as well for more torture testing. We'll run it dry. Right now it's, it's wet lubricated. And then we'll just keep beating on it and see how about the round count when it finally gives out on us. But we'll definitely put it through its paces. And then our last video for next week will be the 357 SIG G31 stainless steel threaded barrel that we sell. We will do a tabletop review, take it to the back where the pistol feature is, set it up at 15 yards, shoot two different ammo types, the Hornady Custom 147 grain and the S&B 140 grain. And that way you can see the two ammo types and how they test out through this barrel. And after that, we might do another video next week. We just don't have any planned out so far, but these will be the videos for next week. If you want me to add anything into these videos, leave a comment below. But this has been Nathan from Berry Creek Arsenal. Thank you for watching.